Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is good to be back on the channel. It's good to be back making some videos. Today, what are we going to do? It is a very big day. I am in the garage. And as you will notice, there is at least one big thing missing from the garage. The Fairlane, the Ford Fairlane. Today is the day that they are coming to pick up the Ford Fairlane. The Ford Fairlane did sell a very, very nice new owner who I had the pleasure of meeting um, about a week ago or more um, from Connecticut. He is buying or has bought the Ford Fairlane. So the transport is coming to pick it up today and it worked out perfectly because also I am off today and uh, we're moving on. I, as I told you guys in the last video, the last two videos, and I kept telling you guys we have some big things coming up. Uh, this is one of the big things that is coming up that we're going to do. Now today we're gonna to be doing something that I said I was not going to do. I refuse to do it. And that is what we're going to do today. So you may ask, what is that? Well, I'm gonna show you with the camera. So you won't have to guess anymore. Yes, I know I said it. I don't know how many times I said it. I was not going to buy another small trailer for my boat, which has been stacked on its side in the garage ever since I've had uh, both the Fairlane and the Mach 1 in here. And I'm actually very tired. I even thought about selling. I even thought about selling the boat because to be frank and completely transparent and honest, and that's all I know how to be with you guys. Um, one of the issues that I had is I'm not getting any younger and at the end of the day with all the gear in the boat boat weighing way over probably 250 250 300 and some pounds at the end of the day to get it up in my Maverick which hauled it without any problem but after you get a certain age and maybe even before that because I've heard some young guys say this too on their YouTube channels about boats. When you get to the water, what do you want to do if you want to go fishing? You want to back up to the ramp, slide your boat off, park your truck, get your boat, go. That was not happening. It did not happen when I had the catamaran. We had to blow that up. We had to put wheels out. We had to bring all the stuff out of the truck, put it in the boat, go out on the water, come back in, deflate the boat, then all that stuff again. Now, with the Maverick, it was easy getting that boat off the Maverick. We just slid it off into the water. But when it came to time to come back at the end of the day, when you had all of your stuff in there, I had to take the boat, take all the stuff out of the boat, lift the back of the boat, get it started in there, even with the winch that I had to get all that done. And it just made fishing not fun. If you're gonna go fishing, if you ever wanna go fishing, if you want to enjoy yourself, you need to make it as easy as you can. And that's what we're gonna do. I have bought this aluminum trailer kit and I'm going to put it together because we're going to make uh, it very um, more usable for my uh, Pelican uh, Bass Raider 10E NX, which includes the, uh, the upgraded seats on it. Uh, took me a while to get that last year. And because it's been so hard, I've only taken that boat out maybe four times total and fishing maybe one, one and a half times. So uh, we're going to make fishing easy once again so we're gonna put this one together and let me tell you it was not it was not as easy as I thought it would be to get one of these trailers because apparently and most of you guys know um, the ultra tow uh, trailers are sold main you can get them uh, but when I went there this morning it said in stock on my phone and I drove over there uh, no trailers and I asked the guy I said well when can you get it? he says we can't he says, I can't get you a trailer right now. They've shut down the orders on them. 
so I can't even order you one to get you one. So I was like, okay, this may be a little harder than I expected. So what I ended up doing, I went to Northern Tool. They did have uh, a couple of the, um, the um, steel or, or metal trailers and they usually retail for anywhere from 519 at Harbor Freight on up to about 599 based on the model that you get, which is way higher than the last, I think the last one that I bought was like 300 and some dollars. So they have gone up uh, uh, quite a bit. Uh, and while I was in Northern Tools, since they did have one, I had been looking at the aluminum one because I'm gonna be getting in and out of the water and I don't want the trailer to rust uh, I know they say they're powder coated and I've had them before and I never had one rust out. Of course, I haven't kept them that long, but um, I decided this time to get one of the aluminum ones um, and it'll be staying here in the garage. Um, and, and that's what's going to make it easy. I'm going to put my boat on the trailer, leave it in the garage, leave all of my stuff hooked up, trolling motor, um, outboard motor, everything in the thing. When I'm back in, all I have to do is plug up my battery charger uh, and then when I get ready to back up, I'll back up my um, Maverick up here hook up the trailer and go out and go fish. That's what I need to do. So it's not gonna get done with me sitting here. So let's get busy. the guys the secret to getting everything put together the correct way is to lay everything out so I have all the pieces laid and put into the proper position where they will be bolted together and we're going to do that next Sixty-six Fairlane is gone forever. Goodbye, Ivy. Hope you have a good home ahead. Okay, guys, the name of the game is Power Tools today. This has saved me a whole lot of work by having uh, this um, powered ratchet. The other thing, make sure that everything is square. So here's what we do. We put it, first thing we do is snug up the bolts on all four corners. That will get you close, then kind of center it. I'm using the floor as a balance. Now, look at this. See how far out that is? You'd think that it was straight, but it's not. So we move until it is. Y'all see that? Did you see it? Now it is straight all the way across. We tighten down one side, then move over to the other side, put the uh, square on it again, and tighten down the other side. Okay, guys, we are on day two of the trailer assembly. And one of the reasons why I haven't had one of these trailers in a while is the fact that one, uh, I didn't want a trailer, didn't want to get the license, didn't want to get all the stuff that's associated with pulling my boat on a trailer, you know, paying all the extra fees at the launch sites, all that, but it's necessary. Now, yesterday we started out, got almost a full frame done on the trailer got to the part where we installed the um, uh, leaf springs and guess what no long hardware so i went back to the place where i bought it from northern tool 
And as you might guess, they had no, this was the last aluminum trailer that they had. And because of that, they didn't have any hardware to give me. They said, oh, well, you can call customer service. I'm not waiting two, three weeks, two, three months or whatever it is to get this job done. So I bit the bullet, went to Tractor Supply. They had a list of the bolts on the sheet of the instructions, which showed me exactly um, the size of the bolt. So it came, and here's the suspects. It came with the bolts, not the bolts, it came with the nuts and the washers, but with no bolts. And without that, you can't attach the leaf spring. So I couldn't go any far forward than I had gone yesterday. So I went out this morning and got these at um, Tractor Supply. Uh, looks like all the washers are here in the bolts. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get these leaf springs attached. And I put the, uh, the leaf spring mounts on loosely because I didn't want to get to a point where I was not going to be able to um, get everything bolted up. So that's where we are now. Okay guys, we are finished with day two of the trailer construction and the reason why it's taking so stinking long, we had to go back to the store, get some bolts, of course, and then I had to make a third trip to the store and buy some more materials so that when I do get the trailer all put together, I'll be able to use it like I want to. And I'm going to turn the camera around and please do not be alarmed and call the messy police because... Um, yeah, the garage is a mess. I got stuff laying everywhere, but we have the trailer just about completely done. Uh, we have a couple more things to add, and I'll turn the camera around so you can see that. So as you can see, the trailer is just about complete. I got nuts and bolts and tools and stuff everywhere. Basically, what you're going to have is an aluminum frame trailer, and we'll have two uh, wooden planks that the, um, the, the pontoons on the boat We'll sit on. We're going to cover that with carpet on tomorrow. And also tomorrow, as you can see, there are no lights on the trailer yet. I'm going to go ahead and, and put the lighting and wiring in on the trailer. But other than that, the full frame is completed. Um, and, you know, I took my time uh, putting everything together because I wanted it to be square to make sure everything's done right. And we're basically going to customize this whole trailer uh, so that um, it's specifically... Um, is configured so that my boat can slide on there easily, get it off easily, and basically call it a day. But so far, so good. It's hard to do these things. I mean, this trailer, um, you have to flip it from uh, on its back to put the um, to put the axle and the wheels and tires on it, and then you got to flip it back on its you know a right side up to finish it. And uh, I was doing all that by myself. And I know it's an aluminum boat, but still, it weighs over 200 pounds. So uh, it's going to be perfect for our little boat. No longer will you look in my garage in the videos and see that boat leaned up on its side there. And I have an outboard that goes on the back there. I got the trolling motor. I got everything to hook that thing up. And by the time you see it in the next uh, video, you will see uh, the completion of everything. So... As I'm going through this process of transitioning from uh, a car in my garage to uh, this boat that's going to dominate the garage. And that's okay. I, I like that. I'm going to clean up in here, move some of the stuff out of here that I work on the cars with, and just get it nice and straight, organize my fishing stuff. Now that I'll have stuff down out of the way and in its proper place. And I'll have the garage looking pretty neat pretty soon now as far as the maverick i told you, we first bought the maverick I, I was talking to um on some of the earlier videos i did mention that i felt like that the maverick was a performance vehicle there were some people who said no it's not a performance vehicle well 
as you probably know, if you don't, well, maybe you should, that it has been rumored that Ford is going to come out with a performance version of the Maverick, maybe a Maverick ST. Um, so far, there is some word that may confirm or deny that. But in the meantime, you guys know I come from a performance background as far as cars. You've seen the cars around the garage. Uh, and I'm taking the Maverick in that direction. You say, well, wait a minute, you're going to haul the boat? Yes, we're going to haul the boat with it, but the Maverick is about to take on a new look. I have already ordered some very exciting parts. All I have to do is wait for them to come in. I did some confirmations with some companies. Um, you're going to see the Maverick look like you've never seen my Maverick look before. She's going to get down and dirty. It's going to be, it's, my Maverick is going to be, and, and, and this is one of the things that I like about the Maverick. It is, it can be a performance type vehicle, and then yet you can get it and haul your boat to the lake. So stay tuned. I promise you, we got some big stuff coming up. And you're going to see the Maverick take shape as we make it into my vehicle. And that's the great thing about a Maverick. You can make it anything you want it to be. So there'll be some people who will like it and love what I do. And others will say, well, that doesn't work for me. Well, and that's fine because everybody can do what they want to to their Maverick. And I'm going to let you guys see what I do to mine. So keep tuning in because more videos are on the way. We're going to be hitting the videos pretty hard once we get some of these parts in because I bought a whole bunch of stuff. Got some stuff that we can put on in the next few days. And then there's some stuff that should be here within the next week or two. So. Stay tuned and I'll see you on the next one.